What's happening everybody? The day is winding down. I don't have to worry about bath. We don't have to worry about running any errands. We have pretty much nothing to do tonight except chill, hang out, do our regular stuff. I'm about to get him in the stand right now. I figured why not once it starts getting a little bit darker out, show you guys what I do for vision therapy for him. So if anybody else has a kid out there with CVI or cortical visual impairment, these are the things that I'm doing with Emmett that help him practice stimulating that connection between his eyes and his brain because that is the issue with his vision. He's not making that connection from his brain to his Eyes. And there are specific things that you can do with kids that have this this going on that stimulate that and basically just make those parts of the brain fire. And Emmett is very specific. He has um, there's a few things that work, but there are probably like four specific things that really do the trick. And I know that because his eyes stop. And when his eyes stop and he's not doing anything else and they just stop on one thing, I know that okay, that it's happening. It's firing. So. I just wanna show you guys exactly what I do and how I practice his vision, his vision practice, vision therapy. And this is something I do every day. So I wanna, as much as I can, share what I learn as I learn it. And I've had some time to practice with him and I figured these things might help somebody else out. So that's what this video is gonna be about. So we'll come back later on this afternoon when it is a little bit darker and I can kind of close up the room a little bit and really focus in on, well, make it easier for him to focus in on those specific items. So. That's the plan. We'll catch you in a few hours. What's happening, everybody? I got Emmett's light box in front of me, which I'm not gonna show you because it's lighting my face and I need it to light my face because I can't. It's dark right now. The sun's going down, it's dark in here. And I realized that this video is gonna be difficult to make in the dark because cameras do not do good in low light, especially this camera. So this is the light box, literally called light box, that his vision therapist gave us. And that is what, that is the one, well, one of the big things that stimulates him when we're doing vision practice. So I'm going to explain, I'm gonna explain the best of my ability how to, how we practice with his vision therapy with the light box. Cause I said there's like four things that he really gets stimulated by and the light box is one of them. And I'm gonna count that as two because there's two colors specifically. What I mean by colors is we have these gels that we put in front of the light box that change the color and red and blue are his color. Red does it a lot and blue does it. White kind of, but I'd compare the white light to like daylight, which I know stimulates him because as soon as I walk outside, the bright sun hits him in the face, he squints, so I know that stimulates him. But the red, he will actually look at. And literally the light box, there's slots that fit these gels specifically. And if your kid's eligible for vision therapy, I highly recommend it because they'll supply all this stuff to you. I don't know for sure, because I mean, every everything is, you know, depends on your circumstances, but for us, this is provided for us, which is amazing and super grateful for that. So, got red gel, and where did I put his blue gel? Just had it. Oh, right here, yeah. Just literally blue gel, red gel, over top of the light, and I just try to literally, whatever makes his eyes go from how they wander to stop. Red and blue do it for him. That is two things that stimulate his eyes. The third thing, big one, this emergency blanket that you can get in the hunting or the, the camping section at probably most stores, but Walmart has it, for example. It's a gigantic blanket that is literally shiny chrome. I have found out that shiny things are huge stimulators for him and he loves this. He stares at it like crazy. Right now, I do it when it's dark because the whole thing with vision therapy that's very important when you're practicing with your kiddo is to eliminate any possible stimulations on their other senses. So their feeling, their sense of smell, their taste, hearing even is a big deal. If they're listening to something, that would distract their vision. So you wanna really hone in on the sight sense as much as possible. That is the key thing here. So that is why I black out the room as much as I can and get the light box, which is very bright in one spot. There's not a lot of other distractions when I take out the entire room basically out of the picture. So I black out the entire room, computer's off, TV's off. The only sound in here is the AC, which is always running. So he's used to it. So he probably doesn't even notice it anymore. All that, that is when I get the most response with his vision. That's what you gotta do. That's that's how you practice. So two things, red and blue gels on the light box. The light box is amazing. You can probably get these on Amazon for a pretty good price because they sell these for like photographers and videographers all the time. Might not be like this one because this one is actually adjustable. As you can see, there's a little knob right here and you can literally turn it like Look at my face. You can change the brightness of it. So that's super handy. That is two things. The third thing is the emergency blanket. The fourth thing, when Emmett wakes up in the morning, I'm not an expert, right? But I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think most people when they first wake up after like their long night's sleep, they're 
typically more alert at that time than any other time of the day, if I'm not mistaken. And I definitely take advantage of that with Emmett because that is the time that I actually see him look me in the eyes and lock, like lock his eyes on my eyes. It doesn't last long, but it's long enough for me to notice something's happening. And it's like, it's kind of like hard to show, but you know if you know kind of thing. Like if your kid did not see and you knew they weren't seeing and they constantly wandered and whatnot, and then all of a sudden one day they were just stopping and looking at you, you would know, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, first thing in the morning, like 30, 30, 40 minutes after he wakes up, I carry him and walk him in front of my brightest window in my house and he looks me in the eye. And I've been doing this every day and he does it every day and he looks me straight in the face, maybe for four or five, six seconds, but like that's the deal. That's another thing. If, if it works, I gotta keep doing it. This whole process of getting him to learn and teach himself how to see again is a long process. And I know this stuff sounds like very, very tiny things, but that's where it starts. His brain never made the connection between the eyes to just to just see. So I have to teach him to teach himself how to see. And yeah, those four things right now are the main ones that stimulate him. The red and blue gels in front of the light box, the emergency blanket, and first thing in the morning, walking in front of that bright window, he sees my face, he looks me right in the eyes. It. It's crazy, but it's super exciting. And right now, that's what I'm doing with his vision therapy. And that's what's working. As of right now, those are the four things that work best for Emmett. If you found this interesting or you have any questions about the CVI, cortical visual impairment that Emmett has, drop them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can or make a video on it. Thanks for tuning into this video and we will catch you next weekend. Thanks for watching.